for the better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So my tag used to be Korean, but now it's Charles. It is even my name because it, it, it like there'd be just some weird situations where like you're out of canes or something, and someone's like, "Yo, Korean," and then like other people like look around, and it's just like, "Oh no, that's like my gamer name." Like, ah, uh, like yeah, right, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. some some tags age better than others. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, I think Gravity and Buddha Man will. Like, age like fine wines yeah, yeah. when it comes big, to tags. Big agree, big agree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, gravity's not going anywhere, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, because you, you want to you, you wanna have a gamer tag that's like, it's clearly a gamer tag, right? You, like, you can't get mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think Buddha Bam is a good one. Facts. All right, but these two characters, classics, uh, Cloud versus Wolf. Wolf, pretty much a, one of the meta-defining characters these days. Everyone has a pocket wolf. Wolf is a strong, strong character. Cloud getting more and more traction, and stuff like that is why. Stuff like that is also why not sometimes, but <laughs> Cloud's strong too. Yeah, I, I wonder if uh, Gravity just messed up the double jump after the fair, maybe sunk too low with the fair. Those, those like, you, you can definitely run off fair, get the spike, double jump, up B, and make it back. So mm. uh, maybe just a mistiming, perhaps, because uh, you know, obviously you didn't lose double jump, right? You just ran off air, so. Funny story, I watched one of Gravity's sets to prepare for this. They actually got that exact situation and survived. So I know that's just like nerves right now, because right, right. I've seen you do it before. Trying to catch the whiff punish with limit, but Ooh. Gravity smacking hard with these aerials. That back air is no joke. Probably one of the most, most messed up aerials. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wolf, I mean, Actually, tried to parry that because, yeah, that would have shield broke otherwise. Smart stuff right there from Budaban. And that's going to be the stock for Gravity right there. Big punish. I'm loving down airs. And, oh, my gosh. No so triple? much damage. Yeah. Yeah. Fun fact, all of Wolf's uh, aerials do double digits. So they definitely start adding up when you string multiple of them together. <laughs> that's so much damage. Ouch. Yeah. Oh Gravity already at 94%. Try to go for the footstool, maybe. I saw like a, a quick, snappy double jump there. Think about Wolf when you go for the uh, the footstool out of shield. You got to commit to the upbeat pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just go hard on that up B or something. Ooh, okay. Able to DI and get out of that. That's big. Cross slash does quite a bit of damage here. It's that tech chase you were looking for, but Cloud laced up those boots tight today and uh, tried to go for some cheeky. Knew that that roll was coming, but Wolf during the up smash just slipped so low to the ground. Yeah. It's hard for characters to tag that out. Yeah, it, it can be rough, especially if you're doing a rising aerial out of shield or anything like that. Definitely not going to catch uh, Wolf Pancake in there. And Wolf will pancake uh, a lot with even just like falling aerials on block too. Fair on block can be, uh, you know, pancaked. So definitely got to watch it, especially if it comes in with a fast fall. But also having to respect some of these grounded options that can pancake as well, right? So it's definitely a mixed bag of tricks. Absolutely. Yeah. And one of the reasons why Wolf is so strong is because, like, stuff like that is intrinsic. Like, you can learn to kind of do that better, but you can also just kind of up smash because that's the vibe, and then they'll whiff because that's just what Wolf does. Right. It just saves one thing to think about. And I th think the characters that um, are roast the top so far are characters that like are strong in their options but also have like kind of abuse some of the mechanics of ultimate itself to right, get even higher yeah. spot dodge up smash pretty good with wolf facts <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a bit of damage right there and going to battlefield for this game number two gravity definitely wanted to look for more of these juggles but not able to land a hit quite yet to get anything big going tries to hit up the stash tag so let's get the dash grab here's the tech chase sour dash grab and and right now, it is Buddha Bam with all the control. Considering Gravity started off game number one with such a commanding spike, and then the SD spiraling out of control into Buddha Bam winning game one, now has the lead game two. You hate to see it, but sometimes, you know, the nerves can kick in. One SD can be enough to, uh, you know, make you lose your confidence, or maybe you're not playing as great. Ooh. But falling up here into, uh, into finishing touch. Now usually, I mean that was hype, but you usually want finishing touch to KO because finishing touch only does about like one or two percent. So yeah. <laughs> you never finishing touch for damage. It's always like nothing. I was half expecting to see a cross slash, but either way, I mean gravity in one of the few advantageous positions that we've seen so far in this game. Budaman looking for a grab into yeah that tech chase situation, and wow that get up attack is huge. But I was about to say up smash or back throw could be options on the table soon. Gravity trying to shake it off, but Budaman looking super comfortable. 
And whenever you're center stage against like um, against Wolf like that, most of the time you can DI up and you won't die. Um, it depends. Like if, if you're at like 160, 170 and a, maybe a back throw if you DI really bad. But if you're a center stage at around like 100, 120, like you're not going to die to any Wolf throw. So you just DI up assuming forward throw. Yeah. Because you, you, the, the main thing is you just don't want to get tech chased, right? Don't give Wolf a free tech chase, especially by the corner where an F tilt can, you know, be, that, that could be it for your stock. Yeah, Wolf, one of the best tech chases in the game. That's why we're seeing Buda Bam, of course, so many of these F throw situations. A great dash attack, and yeah, the DI got caught slipping. He tried to drift forward, but then uh, that would be the worst possible DI for that um, dash attack right there. Yeah, you generally never want to be holding in. Okay, swiping right, then left here. Get the pickup on that down smash, but here comes the cross slash. Nice, not getting the sweet spot though, so grabbing can be able to survive. Buda Bam. Yeah, letting that jump slide just so you can punch the landing. Smart stuff. Wait, we ended up pretty far, but hey, hey, it was intentional. No jump, by the way. Oh, but didn't start charging the limit until a bit too late. Yeah, that would have been a really close. But yeah, yeah, just a tad bit off there. Now Buda Bam with a controlling lead, unless gravity can make some kind of edge guard happen. Uh, this is this is going to be rough. Or just starts winning neutral tremendously here. But uh, yeah, Buda Bam not gonna let that happen. Already tacking on 63 damage. Yeah, and I'm noticing gravity is looking less and less confident as time going on. Trying to force some issues that aren't quite there. Like that, the shield wasn't low. I right. mean, like Buda Bam has never really been swinging first in a lot of these situations, at least like in an unsafe way. So. I think we're starting to see a little bit of crumbling happen, but there's still time. Cloud's a great comeback character, especially if, with rage and a bit of limit, anything's possible. Oh, yeah. When you're going up against Wolf, one double jump snipe off stage, that could be curtains on any stock. Trying to close the door on the second stock, though, will be the main task here. And of course, you ask, gravity delivers. Yes, sir. Here comes Limit, though. And 122%. Okay, that's some big damage. Going to send Wolf to that right side platform. Not going to be able to get anything off that. Wolf's air drift is so hard to track down. But wait a second, guys. Wait a oh. second. Gravity almost did it to him. Yeah, yeah. That, that down air two frame is amazing. Ultimate has a auto L cancel turned on, so it's not too laggy. And being able to like attempt that for a two frame is huge, right? In a game like Smash 4, you go for that, you, you pretty much lose out on your edge or your ledge trap. But in uh, in Ultimate, you're able to. Oh man, you got the hit by the sweet spot too. I was like, maybe sour hit. Oh no way. Yeah. Blown I'm back. I shouldn't be surprised by Wolf back air at this point in the meta, but still somehow that move finds a way to uh, surprise me every single time. Yeah. That yeah. like verticality on the hitbox. I was like, wait, really? I mean, granted, we always see the kill frame, like the frame after. So like maybe like we saw right. an up air start or something like that. But hey, Buda Bam taking that 2-0 of gravity. That glass game was a lot closer than I would have anticipated, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, the cloud coming through. I think the cloud was a great counter pick. I think cloud does pretty well against all the spaces. I'm not too sure about Falco, but We've seen Spargo use Cloud against Light, right? Mm. Um, I think Cloud versus Wolf isn't too bad. I still think Wolf has a slight advantage, but in this game, even if your character is at like a slight disadvantage in a matchup, it's not too bad, right? Yeah. yeah.